a long time. Could, probably could have killed him sooner, but I didn't really know how much he had. And considering I almost lost the game because I fucked up and didn't have my stuff on hold position, I didn't want to take any risks. I was definitely right to apply the contain and then expand three times, though, because that gave me the bank to actually keep going throughout the game. If I hadn't done that, I would have lost to counter push, because I wouldn't have been able to keep rallying out my units. Random player. Hello, Nathanius. How are you doing? I don't know when I'll go up to golds. That, that's a weird thing. Like, the cool thing about Hearthstone ladder is you know when you're going to rank up. The weird thing about StarCraft ladder is you don't fucking have any idea. You can win 90% of your games, it still won't give you a, another league. It's like, nah, I, don't, I just don't feel like it today because my secret arcane algorithm of fuck has no idea what it's doing. The arcane process is not known to the minds of mortal men. That's the ladder system for you in a nutshell. Uh, no, we're not going to fly the guild today. It's a random. I don't know what it is. I don't know what he's doing. It's too risky. <laughs> Do that against the Terran, you basically die. Well, I don't know. I, t I pulled it off earlier, but I think that was just because he wasn't very good. Ah, Difficult to execute otherwise. I'm just going to play straight up. I'm, obviously, I'll take the gold at some point, but it's not yet. Not enough minerals. I'm going to open standard with Reaper. No risks. Play safe. Know what my opponent is, know what my opponent is doing. Scout properly. Be aware. Don't get too paranoid. And we'll go from there. Terran. Was it a broke Terran? Was it a dick Terran? Hard to know. If it goes for an SCV, it's a dick Terran. Okay, the Reaper opening is a bit risky here as a result. But it's not the worst thing ever. Basically, if he ends up going double Reaper, I can take significant damage. So I need to be a bit careful about that. If he doesn't, no big deal. Why do you not go nuke all the time? Because most of the time it doesn't work. Like, it's a high risk, high reward strategy that building ghosts basically means that you have a bunch less of everything else. Because the amount of money that you have to dedicate to building ghosts, ghost academy, nuke, and cloak, it's a massive amount of gas. That's like two, three upgrades worth of gas. It's like four or five medevacs worth of gas for a unit that might not even hit. That's, that's why people don't go nukes all the time because, you know, it's too risky. It's cool, and it can really pay off, but it's very risky, and at low levels, it's hard to control your ghosts, like, separate to the rest of your army. Because a lot of people just want to build one big ball of bio and fight, which you can't do with ghosts, and ghosts actually take priority on the list, which is a bit annoying, because that actually means that you can't stim as easily. So that's something to consider. He's taken double gas, which probably means Banshee. So we're going to build an engineering bay. Oh, we should be able to leave. Oh, maybe. Maybe not. Yeah, we can leave. Good. Okay. Yeah, he's taking double gas, and I don't know what he's doing with it. So we're going to assume it's Banshee at this point. It's usually the only reason you do that. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, if I get a couple of missile turrets down and I'm safe, then no big deal. And I just go on from there. And he doesn't appear to be expanding, so... It could, and it could very well be a proxy as well, so... 
what we're going to do with the Reaper is we're going to have a look and see if there's any in the gold and around the other gold and then check the rest of the map. I might be wrong, but better to be wrong than safe, in my opinion, especially at this level. No, if you're wrong safe at pro level, then you can die, of course, because you're behind, but this level, no, not really. So, our buildings are fairly well covered here. If he is going Banshee, I don't know where it is. Oh, what? Surround! Where the hell did that come from? <laughs> that was weird. Like, oh, there's a Reaper. Why? Why is there a Reaper? I have no explanation for that. And... We're going to just check the other bases, just to make sure he's not pulling anything out of his ass. He's not taking the gold. Let's go up to Medivacs. We definitely... Oh, man, we are mining really too little gas here. Transfer down. And bunkers. I don't have an explanation for that double gas. Banshee should have hit by now unless he's saving them up. Which he might be. So. Just in case he is. A third one. You might want to actually mine instead of fucking around. My Reaper's still on the lookout for something. I'm just not sure what he's got. He's got to have expanded by now, surely. What else would you be doing? That supply block's pretty heavy. Could cause me some problems. We'll try and get into the base. I doubt we'll be able to now, but we might get some information, maybe. Yeah, completely shut down. Okay, so he's actually playing tank. That sucks. Why? What the fuck? You saw me click on that mineral line, didn't you? So, I have been wasting God knows how long here. Okay, well... Uh, this is pretty bad. Why will you not build a refinery? How hard can it be? I have to probably get my own tanks. Oh, I misread what he was doing. Which sucks. I double gas early. An early tank. I mean, the early tank didn't benefit him, though. So, basically, as long as I don't take any damage from tanks now, which I could, then I should be alright. I need to increase my production. I need to maybe get down two more barracks. And I need to prepare for to actually drop him. My marine count is pathetically low. I've just been slipping up on macro this game really badly. It's probably to do with that shit in the back. I can't do much without drop, without stim, but I've got to do something. He's way ahead. As long as I don't lose anything, I guess it's fine. I could maybe do a bit of damage from mineral line or something, depending on how well he's defended here. He hasn't actually defended it, which means I can do a little bit of damage. I need to be careful about getting out on this map, though. And in fact, I'm going to leave pretty much now, because otherwise he is going to intercept me. A little bit of damage here and there. Let's check if he's got the gold. Oh, shit. Tanks already. Bunker's not going to hold. Hold position, you fucking idiots. Okay, get the drop in from behind. Jesus Christ. Well, our tank's actually done pretty good. It's finally down, though. All right, I think we got most of his Marines. We fucking did. All right, all right. Here it is, here it is, here it is. Drop city, population, your face. Mistakes were made. Yeah, completely destroyed that push. Excellent. 
Well, that could have gone way worse than it did. Thank God it fucking didn't. Okay. I must have distracted him with that drop. Because he was kind of doing some weird stuff there. Which I don't really understand. Okay, cool. So we can... Hello. I'm not sure what his plan here is. I can tell you it's not going to work, though. All right. Let's go for more drops. Check, see if he's got the gold. If he doesn't, of course, take it ourselves. Take our own gold. Maybe. Supply, man. Supply. I'm macroing really badly this game, and I'm kind of lucky that I took a good fight, because if I hadn't, then God knows what would have happened. Hello, tanks. It's not going to really do much, though. Unseached tanks actually trade pretty well with regular marines, so... That was pretty stupid. But it's nothing I can't really replace, so... Alright, I'm finally sort of getting on top of my macro at this point, so that's good. I need to be on top of my upgrades as well, because he's going to be. I need to be mining more gas, taking my fourth gas geyser. And then we'll take the gold base, and then we'll just marine flood, I think, at that point. Second engineering bay, prepare the armory. I should also bear in mind, he may have taken a third down the bottom. So we're going to take another medevac worth of units, and we're going to check around the bottom of the map and see if that's true. You gonna give me orders? Instead of taking the gold, he may have decided to take something else. Always possible. I'm going to take the middle point there, and we're going to spread out a couple of marines, just so we've got a little bit of map vision. There we go, we can do that. We can float to the gold. And we can kind of siege up on the gold. It seems like, yeah, I have... Hmm. I thought I had control of that. I guess I didn't. This actually might not be safe. Oh, it is safe. Okay, cool. I can safely take this gold. Good, good. He does have a base, which we can actually stop. We're getting forced to cancel, I think. No, we can't. Okay. Oh, shit. Probably losing that now. That sucks. Uh, shit. Almost had it. Okay. Planets around the gold is going to be difficult to break. We need to start doom drop, doom drop proofing our base. He has a third, but I do have the gold, so I have a bit of an edge. We don't have enough tanks. Oh, hello. Stop! That's gonna hurt. Okay. This, these would actually be really good places to put missile turrets, considering. We can move these guys over there. Upgrades coming in. 2-2. Two, two. It's probably a planetary now, but it might not be. We can stem across the map and try and find out. Should be mining more from here. It's planetary. Okay, so he's going to try and defend that pretty solidly. All right, well, I think we're going to go back into Ghost Nuke then. We need to get our supply up to 200. We need to start teching ghosts. Probably two ghost academies. And what we'll do is we'll start building ghosts. And we want to take a fourth base. Right here. Additional supply 
we could probably doom drop his base quite safely. I wouldn't say completely safely, but safely enough. We could, yeah, I mean, we could do significant damage with a huge doom drop here. I think this point here looks like a good place to go. If he's taking the gold, then we can take, we can kill it. Okay. Shit. They kill that very quickly. This was a mistake. Leave. Shit, 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 shit. Okay, that was dumb, and that didn't accomplish anything. All right. Build ghosts, get cloaking, get nuke. Oh, fuck. That was super dumb. How would- I don't even know what the fuck my tank was doing there. I couldn't explain that to you at all. We have to bring our army back. Alright. I guess we have to just drop on him. I cannot explain to you what was going on there. It was just fucking dumb. Like, for some reason my tank was just in the wrong place. Okay, clean that up, but definite damage taken there. I'm losing SCVs, which is just fucking stupid, and that shouldn't be happening to Vikings. Okay, that was terrible. I'm coming to pieces here. I'm going to try and retake that base. Gas count's a bit low. 2-2 two -two is on the way. Actually, 2-2 two -two is done, so 3-3. Three -three. Cloaking is almost done, so maybe at that point we can make something happen. I've got to have some ghosts, right? I did build them. Did I lose them? Because that would be stupid. I think I lost my ghosts. Oh, there's one here. Okay, we can maybe make something happen with that. If I come around the side here. My tank count is poor. My gas count is poor. I'm not mining gas properly. I'm down on SCVs. The only thing I've really got going for me right now is a large bank, so this is absolutely terrible. Okay, we're going to rely on the ghost to do something cool. Okay. Have you taken his gold now? We could. Bit of a risk, but maybe worthwhile. Okay, let's see what I can do. Kind of got a posture on the map here to really sell this, I think. Okay, well, first things first. We will nuke that. spotted it. Look at him. Now he actually ends up killing a ghost. Oh, maybe not. Almost killing a ghost with an SCV surround, which is embarrassing. Do I have any more ghosts? Yes. Do I have any more nukes? No. It's way past the point of being too hot. to nuke from, I think. Except for the fact he has a missile turret. Which I think I'm out of range of. Okay. So we're now going to try and use this opportunity to move into position. 
think it's gonna land. Oh, so sick! I think we doom drop that. Yep. Go! Oh! Here's hoping. Holy shit! That's a lot of Thors. But I think we were right to do it. Yes, we broke it. We broke him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, thank God that worked. The impoliteness these days. Sick. <laughs> he thought he could kill me before the nuke landed. That's why he didn't unsiege. And he was one shot short. That was kind of great. <laughs> Oh, delicious. Absolutely delicious. Yes, the enemy sees the red dot. What happened to the good old metal I used to play? Uh, I got famous and now can't do pirate radio. <laughs> it's the simple answer to that. I am too high profile to play music illegally. Simple as that. Yes, uh, the enemy can see a tiny red dot, but they don't see it on the map. They actually have to physically spot it, which means that nukes can be effective in the late game because you have a lot of bases and it's difficult to check all of them before the nuke lands. That's why nukes are used often in the late game and not in the early game. Because in the early game, there's only really a couple of places they could be, and they're very easy to find, and if you lose your ghost and your nuke, you're so far behind by that point. Charlie Power I can play. Now, stuff like that, absolutely, but my video game list, which is stuff that I actually have permission for, has some metal in it, but not a huge amount. I'm actually kind of surprised that a lot of people are buying into Kings of Amala, but I guess, honestly, since it's on sale at that price, maybe it's worth it. Let me give you a piece of advice for Amala, right? If you decide to buy Kingdoms of Amala, do not do any of the side quests, yeah? Just do the main quest line and the faction quests. Ignore the side quests, because the shitloads of them, they're boring and they overlevel you to a ludicrous degree to the point where you just cannot die. You become too powerful, and the combat is not fun anymore as a direct result. So, if you want to play Amala, just do it, play it that way, and you'll actually have a pretty good time. Because outside of that, the game's pretty good, but you have to stick to the main storyline, and you have to stick to the faction quests, because they actually had a decent amount of design to in put into them. All the others feel like MMO quests, and it feels like a single-player MMO if you play all of them. You overlevel yourself, you become too powerful, and you're just doing the same shit over and over again. So, that is how I would recommend you deal with Kingdoms of Amala. Outside of that, it's alright. Like, the combat system's great. I love the world design. There's some really creative creatures in there. Yeah, it's solid. But it's it's way too much filler. Yeah? It is really all filler and... Well, it's not all filler, but there is definitely too much filler in that game. There's no doubt about that. Okay, another Terran player. We're actually going to go Reaper this time because I don't know where he is. So we're going to use that to find it. Welcome to the new subscribers, of course. Thank you very much for your support. Axiom is currently looking for a sixth player right now. We have a few ideas, but we need to work on getting another sponsor, basically. And, of course, every little bit that you happen to subscribe does help quite a bit. So... That's basically where I put the money from the stream. I pump it into Axiom. So, it's, I actually don't see any of it. It pays for the team. 
at least some of the team anyway. The sponsorship pays for another bit of it, and then I pay for the rest. So thanks for your support. It means a lot. It means a lot to the guys as well. I appreciate that. Doesn't mean we can send them to more tournaments. We're sending Ryang to DreamHack Book Arrest. We may also be sending Impact. It depends on how well he does in the GSL tournament tonight. He's playing in the GSL Global Tournament. It's a really big opportunity for him because he's playing against some world-class players. Absolute world-class. And it could be incredible if he actually pulls off some wins there. So we're hoping that he will be able to. And as I say, I'm currently looking for other sponsors. I've got a couple of ideas for people who I think, like, obviously you have not sponsored esports before and would be kind of great. Where is he? He's there. Okay. What's he doing? Well, that's a lot of Marines. Uh, what the fuck? What's that? A starport? Oh, shit. All right. I think we're going to need Widow Mines and more barracks. This seems like a big one base all in. The problem is this could also be drops in, in that one base all in, which means it's going to be really hard to hold because I don't know where it's coming from. Have I seen Durante's article? Yes, I don't entirely agree with it. Because, I mean, I, I can't tell you much about the PC port, but I do think he is slightly exaggerating the difference. Well, I don't know, maybe he's maybe not exaggerating the difference. He might be exaggerating just how good it is. It's a lot... I'll, fuck it, I can say this. I'm sure they're not going to get upset. It's a hell of a lot better than the first port, but that doesn't take much. It looks better than the PS3 version, but again, that doesn't take much. Of course it looks better than an eight-year-old console. But it's not some fucking revelation. It doesn't look absolutely incredible. This is going to suck. I don't think I have enough to hold this. I'm going to starport behind it, maybe try and get a Banshee out. I can't even put add-ons on here because it's too risky. Bunkers on the high ground would probably help. I can't risk... Put the Widow Mine down on the ramp if he tries to get up. Yeah. I don't know, he's got an engineering bay, which indicates to me he's trying to expand off this. The situation's weird. I guess we can try and expand. Let's get someone down there. Ah, shit! Hellions. I actually think I can fight this, especially if I use my SCVs to help. I've got to focus down the Hellions, though, before I lose too many SCVs. Okay. Uh, yeah, I took economic damage, but I don't think that was worth it for him. So, go back to building. We now have a lot of Marines on the way out. Should have, that's the problem with that. You don't know where it's coming from. That's the problem with it. It could be at the front. It could be at the back. And if you're in the wrong position, you're in real trouble. But I think I'm okay. But yeah, I, as I said with Dark Souls 2, I don't even know if I'll do a video on it, like outside of just a port report, really, on that. I'm just... I can't be asked. Like, there's the sheer amount of aggro that goes in with any aspect of criticizing Dark Souls in any way is not even worth a fucking hassle. Okay, let's hope we can do some damage. We need another barracks so we can actually get tech going. Ramp is so wide open. We'll see. We'll see. I mean, I'm embargoed to launch day anyway, so I don't even know if it's going to be relevant by that point. 
add-on complete. Done and done. Inbound. There's limited airspace on this map, so 